Hey guys, I'm still on parental leave, but I really wanted to bring this video out because this update is pretty significant. But before that, we have Skin Baron, your marketplace for CSGO skins made in Germany. Here you can pay an average 30% less for CSGO skins than on the community marketplace. You can sell skins for real money, which you can withdraw through regular bank transfer. There's more than a million skins to choose from, including a 360 3D viewer to give you a detailed look, and of course a handy filter system to find the skins you need. Selling skins is super easy, click and adjust just the fees, which even includes a little guideline. Check the link down below to visit Skin Baron, my sponsor, for this video. After the Rio 2022 Major, we obviously got our sticker capsules, and with this update, they are now 75% off. I know a lot of people wait for that discount, so here it is. We just got the 2023 Service Medal. This is a medal that you get every year, and it's kind of grindy. Very few people get to the last service medal level, but essentially you need to level up to 40 and then you get one service medal. And then you need to do that all over again. The only difference is their color. Next up in the update is a pretty huge fix for Molotovs and incendiaries. This was a very sophisticated bug that has been abused for a very long time now. It allowed players to throw mollies or incendiaries that would never explode in the air, if you did a lot of math and whatnot. Both Ancient and Anubis was pretty broken maps when it came to this, but basically skybox mollies are now officially dead. We also got a fix for a case where some loading screen key bindings were not getting resolved correctly. Sadly, I can't give you any more info on this particular note. We also got some new map rotations for Wingman. The maps Booyard and Chalice are now available for official matchmaking. Along with that, Blagai, Cascade, and Breach have been removed. This will be the second time Breach goes away, and that wasn't even a Wingman map. I'm sad to see Cascade go away. That one really pushed the limits of Source. And that pretty much sums up the update. But what also sums up the update is what's lacking or missing from it. Now, we all kind of expected some kind of a new case or maybe even a new operation. This was considered the best timing for such an update. But since we got this, it practically confirms that we are not getting an update of the size of an operation this year. We'll have to wait to 2023. What also surprises me about this update is no info on any fixes or optimizations to Anubis, which is part of the map pool. I mean, there's two pretty big issues with the map right now. Clipping issues, and I also hate these grenade clippings on this particular gate, as well as some pretty beefy performance issues on some parts of the map. Where are those fixes? Could we not have gotten them with this update? So I guess the things that we got, yeah, sure, they're nice and all, but sadly, I feel like we're still missing a couple things that we should have gotten by now. The way things are looking for me, I'll be full on back on YouTube somewhere early next year. Until then, stay awesome and go bananas.